Hello everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and I am really excited to share with you today some brand new products that we have just launched. These are our amazing 3D cut and emboss folders. These fabulous cut and emboss folders are going to die cut and 3D emboss in one pass through your die cutting machine. They are absolutely beautiful. We've got two fabulous designs. We've got the Blossoming Medley, which is this one here that has that beautiful flower design in the middle with the little die cut flowers and leaves around the edge. Really, really pretty. And then we also have the Floral Cascade, which is like a frame kind of design. So you've got a lovely aperture in the middle, which is perfect for adding a sentiment or framing a feature on your card. You could even put a little photo behind there if you're scrapbooking. And then you've got this beautiful floral detail on there. The cut and emboss folders look like this. So let me grab mine out of the packaging. So you can see how it looks like a normal cut and emboss folder. These are slightly thicker because they're 3D and there is a link in the description below and also in the comments of a free PDF download of the plate combinations that we have tried and tested on various die cutting machines. So if I open the cut and emboss folder up, you'll be able to see how you've got all of the metal detailing in here, which is going to do your cut work. And then you've got the recessed plastic, which is going to do your um, 3D embossing. So when you close your folder, your cut work cuts into this side of your folder. So what that means is over time, your folder will bend and warp, but that is completely normal. There are some certain ways that you need to feed these folders into your die cutting machine, and I'm going to talk you through all of that now. I'm just going to grab in the two designs to show you because they are absolutely beautiful. So this one here is the Blossoming Medley, and just look at all of the detail that we've got on there. You've got those 3D, almost sculpted flowers in the centre, and you've got these beautiful little kind of pearly trails in the background. You've then got the cutting elements, which are the little dots in the background and these flowers that lift up to really make your projects pop. So this one is the Blossoming Medley design. They are six by six in size as well. And then this one is the Floral Cascade. And you can see, again, this is such a pretty design. I've just run these through on matte mirror card to show you exactly what they look like, but they are absolutely beautiful. So you've got the little flowers that lift up, you've got the leaves, and then you've got those kind of sculpted leaves, the sculpted foliage and the sculpted flowers from that beautiful 3D emboss. So I'm going to show you how to use these cut and emboss folders. I am using my Gemini machine today. This is my personal die cutting machine of choice. I use it all the time. I have the Gemini, I have the Junior and I have the Midi and they are absolutely fabulous. So that's the machine that I am going to be using today. I'm going to take a piece of matte mirror card just to show you how these emboss because I think the matte mirror card really shows up all of the detail and shows you this kind of on the camera um, as to the detail that you get in these. So I'm going to place my matte mirror card into my 3D cut and emboss folder. Now what is really important with these cut and emboss folders is you cut them with the metal facing up towards you. So this is like the very smooth side of the folder but I can see the metal through it. And you also need to feed them into your die cutting machine with the open edge first. So what I've done is I've taken a permanent marker and I've just marked on a little arrow so I know that that's the side that needs to be facing me and that's the way I need to feed it into my die cutting machine. So to feed this in, I'm going to be using my Gemini, as I mentioned. So the plate combination for this one is my base plate, my metal shim. I'm then going to put my card with my folder on the top, my plastic shim, and then feed that through my die cutting machine like so. So your die cutting machine is just going to grab it and it'll come out the other side. So when this is all run through, there we go, I'll bring this one back in. I'll do the grand reveal. Are we ready? When we lift that up, my word, look at the detail that we have got on there. It is absolutely beautiful. So you can see how we've got those almost sculpted 3D flowers in the centre. We've got the little dots that have die cut in the background and then we've got the little 3D leaves and flowers that we just need to push through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, this is just like a little porky table. This was from a Cricut toolkit actually a little while ago. And I'm just going to push through these little dots. So then these are all nicely die cut out. And this looks amazing as well. If you, um, if you 
pop some glitter behind or a bit of mirror card. It really allows the light to kind of dance through the detail on the design. So we'll just push these through. And this is the blossoming medley that I've used to show you this one today. We do also have the beautiful floral cascade design. And these really are going to add that extra dimension in your crafting. We've got loads of tutorial videos as well on our YouTube channel. So please do have a look on there um, for some ideas as to how to use these. And there are lots and lots of finished sample pictures on our Facebook page too. So definitely have a little look on there. And there we go. So you can see how beautiful that looks. So you could be going over here with a little bit of sanding paper just to sand the top off to really show that detail. You could be using a little bit of gilding wax on there or you could be going in with your inks as well. So there's lots and lots of versatility with these 3D cut and emboss folders. So the next little level of dimension that I'm going to add is I'm going to go around and push through the leaves like so, and the little petals. So we'll just work our way around, pushing these through. And this one here. And there we go. So if I turn that round, you can see the level of detail that you've got on these is just phenomenal. Again, there is a free PDF download on our website, chloescreativecards.co.uk, that will talk you through which plate combinations to use with your different die cutting machines with these, and also which die cutting machines we've tried and tested these in and found that they work best. So please do have a look on there. I'll drop the link in the description and in the comments. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's little YouTube video. If you haven't done so already, please do click subscribe to subscribe to our channel and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.